Hey everybody, it is the Honey Badger and today we're going to be making our own gasket for the header on our exhaust. Um, down where it collects and it goes from the four to the one piece before it enters the cat or the off-road pipe, um, there is a gasket that's actually a little bit specialty for what I need and there's one company that sells it, but it costs about $40 shipped for me to get it when I can buy an entire piece of gasket material and create my own and this only costs about 10 to 15 bucks. I'll leave a link for you down below in the description so you can see what I'm using, but this gasket material costs a lot less, and if you have the time or you need to create a specialty gasket, this is definitely one option you have. So today, I'm gonna take the stock gasket off the car that's not quite filling the seal because I have an exhaust leak. We'll take that off, we'll make a copy of it basically on this, we'll cut it out, and we'll have a replacement gasket that will hopefully not leak, and we can create future gaskets for a lot cheaper than what it would be to buy them with this extra material as well. I'll show you how I'm gonna do it. We have the gasket off the uh, vehicle. This is the shape. It is a little bit different. It's for my SVT Focus. Um, this is where the header meets up with the cat or the uh, off-road pipe. Um, so it is a little bit of an odd shape. As you can see, we have some darker spots here and on this backside where exhaust is escaping from, um, from the vehicle. So that's where we're getting some excess sound that we don't want. And uh, it's just a very thin gasket. Now, if you don't have the original gasket to go off of for this part, you'd probably wanna make what they call a key and either get a piece of cardboard or paper and kind of trace it uh, um, on with where the part is with the actual header or the catalytic converter, whatever part you need and you wanna create it there and then transfer that to this piece of gasket afterwards. So you'd create kind of your own key, which is what this is going to act as for us. It's just too thin. This uh, 1 16th is going to be better than this paper thin gasket. So we're going to go ahead and transfer it to this and we'll cut out our gasket as well. All right, and there we go. About 15, 20 minutes later, um, handmade gasket. Obviously, this one was a little bit different because, you know, if you're making a very simple gasket, it would take less time. If you made a more complicated one, it would also take more time. But as you can see, it's not going to be perfectly, um, you know, perfect circles unless you have way more tools than I do. But obviously, me using Dremels and just some shears to cut it um, worked perfectly fine and actually wasn't that difficult to do. It's not going to look machine made, obviously, like that. Um, but that's definitely going to work and is going to be perfectly fine. So we're going to put that in, see if that takes care of my exhaust leak, and I'll let you know just how well it worked out. And there we go. Everything's back together. No more exhaust leaks whatsoever, which is great. And on top of that, um, if we need to do this again or we need to make another custom uh, gasket, whether or not it's something on this car or on a different one, we have plenty of material left over because this did not take very much for this specific gasket. So you get a lot of material for not a lot of cost. So overall, um, probably worth it, especially if you can't find a gasket that you need 
or if the ones you're looking at just cost a crazy amount of money and you are willing to take the time to do it yourself. So definitely uh, check it out. Links in the description. Make sure you drop a like on the video if you found it helpful. Subscribe for future content and I'll see all of you in the next video.